coffee this morning and I was just doing boring stuff. <laughs> like I got my Bible study done, which is not boring to me, but I got that done and just kind of putzing around the house, putting laundry away, all the fun, typical <sighs> household responsibility things. So and in the event of it all, <laughs> as the excitement continues, I have to go pick up my dog from the groomers because he's a big hairy beast. He's a golden retriever and he needed some help. <laughs> so he went and got his hair did and I have to go pick up my little guy from preschool so I can go get the dog instead of waiting for him to get off the bus. Yeah, so anyway, right into the store quick tonight. I'm gonna make some um, keto enchiladas for the family and that's gonna be super good. This weekend we made some pulled pork. It was delicious and amazing and we usually make three pork butts um, at a time and shred it all up and then we make it into a bunch of meals or just throw it in the freezer And so it goes a long way and it's super delicious super yummy um, I am treating myself to a buy today Because I'm kind of dragging the weather has just been a bit crummy and I'm kind of Just in that winter slump. I just need I just wanted a little something so I'm gonna enjoy that and yeah so, and in the meantime too, I am fasting. I'm still in a fasted state. Um, I think the last meal I had yesterday was around five o'clock and I didn't even have a whole lot because we had a really big lunch um, with the pulled pork and stuff. So I had pulled pork with some salad and yeah. So anyway. Okay, let's carry on with the video. Home, home. <laughs> it's a lot of running around for that little bit there. So. I am, it's about 12.40 and I'm gonna be starting to prepare my first meal. I'm gonna dive into some of this pulled pork and I am stoked. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and show you what's going on. It's all of the leftover goodness. It's like you can even see there's like some good bark pieces in there. Lots of good fats. I am super excited. So this is gonna be my first meal of the day, eating more of a carnivore style and yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I've cooked it up. Friends, here's what I ended up with. I ended up just sauteing this um, pork in the pan with just a little bit of butter. Um, the carry gold is like as natural as I can get it affordably. Um, affordably? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. And then I decided to serve it with a couple eggs because that just sounded good. So this is going to be my lunch. I think this is about a cup's worth. Um, I know it's a bit spread out and stuff, but if you're wondering like how much it is, it's about a cup. And then I used about a tablespoon of butter to cook both of the um, eggs and the pork. So that is gonna be my first meal of the day. I cannot wait. Guys, I don't know about you, but I am struggling this spring and winter with no sunshine. I don't know how people like in Alaska and Scandinavians have do it, I don't know, but Especially with my MS and it keeps going and going and going like the winter that is like I struggle to have vitamin D anyway and so I have to supplement like significantly like 20,000 units a day but I don't know I am going crazy so crazy and I'm like yeah I think going forward we need to start vacationing because ma is gonna go berserk. So you guys are probably wondering too how things are going with the carnivore kind of experiment thing. I don't know, it's been a little challenging for me just with the way things have been going and I feel like I'm kind of in a slump too with the whole keto carnivore journey. Um, I've been doing the journey for, or eating this way for about a year now, over a year. And, but I've just hit this plateau. I did a reboot in December of 2019, which was great. Um, it got me past my plateau, but now I haven't gotten anywhere. And then, but I keep now fluctuating between like five pounds. I could go up and down, up and down, and like no matter what I do, um, it just doesn't want to budge. It doesn't want to go anywhere. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Some people have said, oh yeah, you know, you need to take, um, you know, you need to do electrolytes, you need to do intermittent fasting, you need to do ketones, you need to do this and that. And I'm like, well, sure. I can understand that these are elements that may affect the weight loss, but I want it to be so effective that I don't have to work so damn hard to do it. Excuse my French. But you know, I just want, I'm just, I don't know. I'm at a point where I'm like, I've been working so hard for a year to really get my health around 
and going and I don't know. So I don't know if maybe I just need spring to come and summer to be here and just to be like in a better place mentally too. Cause right now, seriously, I mean, everything is like clouds for days and I'm going bananas. So I don't know. So that's where I'm at. So. All right, on with the day. Let's get into the nitty gritty of making these enchiladas. I know I have made another video um, making some more low carb enchiladas. They are the most keto friendly, super tasty. Um, I will leave that in the description box below actually if you wanna check it out or maybe like a little clip thing you can click on there. But for this one, for the most part, I'm just making it low carb. I'm gonna be using low carb tortillas which is fine, um, but for me personally, I try to cut out all gluten or as much gluten as possible just because I don't react to it well. I do not have an allergy, but I do not react to it well. So for the most part, when I get these tortillas for my kids, for my husband, these are the ones that I use the most. So my kids love the Mission brand. It is Carb Balance. I believe they are only for four net carbs per tortilla. So they have three grams of fat, 19 carbs, but with 15 grams of fiber, that's where you get your four net carbs, and then five grams of protein. So I got those, and then because we only had a few of those left over, I went to the store and they were actually out of the carb balance ones that I normally get. So I went on the hunt and they were not easy to find, but I found these ones and uh, by ba La Banderita. And these are five net carbs per wrap. Um, and these are whole wheat wraps. So, I don't know. I mean, for what they are, if you're keeping low carb, these are still a great option. They are 50 calories per tortilla, one and a half grams of fat, 16 carbohydrates, but with 11 grams of fiber, 16 minus 11, you get your five net carbs and protein is 11 grams or uh, four grams of protein per tortilla so these are great they're still you know nice you know I know sometimes if you get um people if you go for the gluten-free they can be kind of hard cardboardy hard to use they can break when you roll them up these are great options so that's what we're gonna do then I've got my lovely pan still of my uh, pulled pork and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my own green enchilada sauce so I've got these green can of green chilies and I am going to blend them up with some sour cream and put some seasoning in there and that's it um, I'm gonna make it very simplistic low uh, minimal amount of ingredients used so that'll be good and then um, I've got some shredded cheese Chunky salsa. So, be very simple, very easy. I'm not using beans. Let's get crack a lacking. All right, friends, what I'm gonna do now is I've got my glass Pyrex pan, and I'm just gonna take some spray. You don't have to use coconut oil, but just some kind of spray just to coat your pan with, just to minimize sticking. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take one of the low carb wraps, and I am just going to line it with some nice pieces of pork and then I'm going to top it with just a little bit of cheese because you know that there's going to be plenty of cheese involved in this dish and I'm simply just going to roll it up try to tuck in that meat as best you can and set it off to the side and that is it and you are just going to do that all the way down okay so we're going to take another wrap and I left these longer pieces of pork when we were shredding this yesterday. I thought, you know what, let's leave some longer pieces because then it's gonna make it way easier for me to roll up these tortillas. Now you're probably asking too, like, can I, what else can I use in place if I don't like pork or, um, or if it's a matter of means or this and that. You could even get like a, a rotisserie chicken from a store. You could just um, pull it apart, throw it in there. Um, there are so many options to utilize and for you to get creative with depending on um, what you
your budget's like, what your taste uh, preferences are. So many options, right? So, here we go. Yeah, it's all good, right? I love that, um, you know, this day and age, we have so many options to utilize um, to please our palates. So, oh my goodness. So I got to, <laughs> I'm trying to break apart some of this because it's been in the fridge. So it's kind of, you know, when it's chilled, it's a little bit more tricky here. There we go. All right. So this is going to be lovely. It still has that smoky kind of flavor, kind of texture. And I'm just taking some of this cold jack cheese. Um, you can utilize other types of cheeses too, obviously. Like um, they do make like taco or... Um, Mexican blends of cheeses with um, extra spices in there and stuff, but obviously to each his own with however that works out for you, for preference, for financial reasons, all the things. Whoops, oh my goodness, I'm just getting a little excited. I will show you how I go about making this gluten-free, keto-friendly enchilada sauce. Um, so what I'm doing is I blended up one cup of sour cream and then one and a quarter cup of diced green chilies. So I've done that and now I'm just going to add a little bit more seasoning to it. So if you're not familiar, Trader Joe's is a chili lime seasoning blend. It is so, so good. One of my favorites. So I added that to it and then I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder and probably just a little bit of pink salt. And then I'm just going to blend it up and pour it over top of the enchilada wraps. So it's going to be good. I just mixed all that up. I added the salt, I added the onion powder and the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. Mix that all in. And so now all I need to do is take this and I'm going to pour it over top. Top it with cheese, some more chilies. So I have a little bit of chilies left. And then probably gonna put some diced tomatoes on and some black olives. And that's how we're gonna do it. So, and then when I serve it, I usually serve it with some extra sour cream and jalapenos and it's gonna be delicious. You just bake it in the oven for, what do we, I usually do like 425 for maybe 20 minutes. And mostly like everything is cooked. It just needs to get warm, basically. <laughs> Just needs to cook nicely. The cheese needs to melt. All the flavors need to come together. So it's gonna be great. All right, guys, we got it all set here. So I know to each his own, but what I did, so I poured the sauce on top, covered it with cheese, and then I added the rest of the green chilies of that can, and I chopped up some of these olives, and then I chopped up some tomatoes, tossed them with a little bit of salt, and put them on there. And so that's how it's gonna bake. I am super excited. The kids love it. Um, I think tonight, though, I am going to serve a little bit of brown rice. Um, not loads, but, I mean, they're not 100% keto or things like that. But I do like, you know, they're still okay to have some things like this. It is. I do make sure that I get organic, non-GMO, all the things. And thank heavens for quick cook brown rice. So... That's what they're gonna have, and I'll show you what I might have on the side with mine. Me, I found this at Trader Joe's. I know it's not really like, this, I suppose at this point it's more like dirty carnivore in a sense, but I am gonna serve this. I got this at Aldi. I'm gonna heat this up, serve it with some of the meat on top, and then put like a tiny bit of the sauce on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know, like I thought just to give it a whirl, I mean, it's only got, it's extremely minimal ingredients, all the things, so I'm going to try it out and make it a nice Mexican dish. I cannot wait. I'll just have, um, 